And I can tell Ooh. you, Owen is out here to prove me wrong. Because I'm a matchup, but worth knowing. As we are going to look at the prize cards here now. Um, nothing too impactful, Pidgey. Um, and the Pheasant Dippity prize there for Fabian. That is obviously his only copy of Pheasant Dippity, so there will be no flipping of the scripts, at least until a Hisuian Heavy Ball is played. Look, looking over there, Owen, you know, prizes seem okay. One copy of Iron Forge, a Future Booster Energy Capsule, and a couple of energy there. Not too bad, I would say. No, not too bad at all. There's eight basic lightning in the deck, so getting rid of two of them is a bit awkward, but it's not the end of the world. That, that's what we're going to need to watch for Owen here. Can he keep the energy coming in the first couple of turns? That's going to be a big thing to look out for. But as long as we can keep the energy coming, I think we're going to be okay here. So we're getting into round three of the Pokemon trading card game, World Championships. We've got Owen Kammerman, one of the best players in Europe, sitting at 2-0. We've got Fabian Pujol, one of the best players in Europe, sitting at 2-0. and and that is a problem if you win at the World Championships. You just keep playing better players. And it looks like we're starting off with Owen here. Yeah, Owen's going to start us off here in our round three. Someone will be losing their undefeated. Oh, it's just going to see an energy attachment to the active and a pass over to Fabian, who is led Radiant Charizard. I mean, that, that's kind of your perfect turn one, though. You're not going to play many other Pokemon. Yep. You want to attach an energy. That's... That's kind of what Iron Fawns does. I mean, a second Iron Fawns would be nice, don't get me wrong, but a lot of it's reacting to your opponent with stuff like Crushing Hammer, as we see an Arvin come down here for Fabian, and looks like we're going to grab ourselves. Is that TM Evolution? Yeah, it is a TM Evolution, a fantastic tool card, given that you can attach it to a Pokemon and then it gains the Evolution attack for one colorless energy, you can then evolve two of your benched basic Pokemon. Love to see it. Looks like Fabian is going to be conducting a little bit of a prize check here as well. Does have a, the Hisuian Heavy Ball move to the front as well. Arvin, a fantastic supporter of us, letting you grab a tool card and an item. I'm a big fan. Yeah, Arvin is huge. Sees a lot of play and a lot of decks. It's, it's the kind of card that's particularly good in the meta we're in at the moment because we've got stuff like TM Evolution. We've got our A-Spec tools like Hero's Cape and Maximum Belt and things like that. And, of course, our old friend Forest Seal Stone <laughs> that lets you search for any card as long as it's attached to a Pokemon V as your yep. V-Star power for the turn. So particularly good. And here comes the Sui and Heavy Ball. Oh, I think there's an option there we might be happy with. And it's not Fezzendipity. Oh. It's Bidoof. Yeah, like that. You know, Bidoof's fantastic. That industrious incisors of Belila you draw to you have five cards in your hand and obviously with this TM evolution being used you'll be able to evolve it straight into a Babao and I think that's what we're going to be seeing here and yeah I loved it that's a fantastic turn one for a Charizard going to end the turn with a Charmeleon and a Babao raring to go because let's not forget um, initialization from Iron Forms does not turn off industrious incisors it does not and because of the extra things we're seeing in this deck with stuff like Rapska, there's only room for a 1-1 Bibaro line here. Yes. So you had to get that Padoof out of the prizes nice and quickly. It is going to give you more value in the early game than Feather Dipity is. So yeah, you, you had to go and get that straight away. So Iron Fawns here, we've got an energy on there. That was kind of job done, turn one. Yeah. Where can we go from here? We do have a Pokemon catcher. Here's the flip. It's, it's a, a tail. tail. It's going to be a lot of flips this game, Jay. Yeah, we've got Question Hammer as well. It's going to be really impactful in this matchup. Reserve. We do see Owen going to play an Arvin of his own here. I wonder what tool card we're going to see. There are a few options. Devolution could be used to just, you know, reset those um, benched uh, Bibarel and Charmeleon. Could see a Turbo Energize potentially to power up a benched Iron Thorns as well. Uh, but it looks like, yeah, we do see it looks like the Turbo Energize being taken. We also get to see an item here, Ross. And what do you reckon Owen's considering here? There are so many options here. It looks like we're actually going for the tool that's going to go and get the, oh, not the tool, sorry, the item, the Techno Radar that lets you discard a card from your hand and then search for a couple of future Pokemon. So that Techno, I believe that's Techno Radar. Yeah, yep, here we techno go. Techno Radar, yeah. Going to discard the Judge and then search for a couple of future Pokemon. And I'm going to ruin the surprise. Right. It's going to be one or two Iron Fawns. <laughs> yeah. Owen is, here is the entire Pokemon list of, of Owen's deck, right? Yeah. Iron Fawns. Yeah. Iron Fawns. Iron Fawns. Iron Fawns. That's it. That's all the Pokemon. He will start Iron Fawns. 
There will never be an option to gust up another Pokemon, turn off the ability, and then get your abilities back. Doesn't happen. It is Quad Iron Thorns. That is all you've got. And here comes Turbo Energize. Yeah, an attack that lets you attach two basic energy from your deck to one of your bench Pokemon. And let's not forget. Uh, people at home that while uh, Iron Forge is in the active, initialization turns off all rule box abilities on your opponent's side of the field. So that means if Fabian was to evolve into a Charizard EX, Infernal Rain would not activate. Nope, so it would be manual attachments all the way, and that's where the Crushing Hammer come in to try and get rid of them. Here comes an Ultra Ball, and I mean, looks like we're going for a Squovit here which I love Scrove. It lets you, you shuffle your entire hand into your deck, you draw one card. Yes. Which, I mean, it's great in an emergency. Generally, you're minusing a bunch of cards from your hand. It is frankly not ideal, but when you combine it with v Burrell, it's just a shuffle draw five. Yeah. Or maybe if you can play the card from Scrove it, shuffle draw six. Well, it's actually a little bit better than shuffle because it actually puts the cards to the bottom. So that means you're guaranteed not to draw them back. So if you really don't want the cards in your hand, you can put them to the bottom, but it looks like we're always going to see an industrious incisors and a pass straight back over to Owen. But crucially, did get an energy attachment. Yes. Oh, we're well, watching the energy oh, here. Oh, we're going to get an energy attachment. That's a no. six. And there it goes. That's super impactful there for Owen. Because, you know, while we can't use Infernal Rain, Burning Darkness only requires two basic energy. It's actually not that hard to power up. So we are going to see a future booster energy capsule attached to the active. So that means we could see it retreat because it now has a free retreat cost as well. Let's see what Owen opts to do. He does have an Iona, a Boss, and a Professor's Research available. It looks like Professor's Research is going to be used. Draw seven new cards. If we do see a double turbo energy here, we could actually see an attack Volt Cyclone. And we see it on the last card there, Ross. Oh, we start seeing some energy. I was telling you about watching Turtles like the other day, Shay. Okay. Right now, I'm watching Fire Energy. Because <laughs> Fabian doesn't play much. There's five okay. Fire Energy in the deck. Yes. But one has just been discarded. One is in the prizes. That means there's only three available in the deck. You don't play many, and you don't play a huge amount of search here because you search them out with Charizard. Yes. Uh, Fabian might not find them, and there was a Pokemon yeah. catcher there, but unfortunately came up. Tails. Yeah, bit sad. Tails, yeah, a bit sad, that one for Owen. Because that Radiant Charizard, you know, that 160 HP well, it won't be going anywhere. As it looks like we are going to see a double, it looks like we are going to see a Volt Cyclone into the active 120 with damage reduction, and then we'll move it away onto the benched Iron Thorns. Don't mind that. And to be honest with you, that can if you can keep drawing your energy, that's kind of a nice bonus because it means yeah. you're powering up your, you know, you can attach to the active to attack and then be powering up your bench. It's, it's a bit of a downside, but not that much of a downside. Right, energy check. Do we, there is an energy in hand for Fabian here. So that's good, but there's only going to be two more in the, remember, you need two to attach to Charizard EX in order to attack. Double turbo, there is one in the deck. That doesn't help with Charizard. It only helps with Radiant Charizard. Let's see what happens here. And it's like 140 damage after the future boost of energy capsule. I apologize. We are going to see Industrious Incisors and a Cleffa. Oh, Ross, canceling Cologne. That's going to be huge. It's going to get the first two prizes, but it only gets two prizes. That's the problem. It's can you get, well, OK, it gives you one turn is what I'm saying here. So yes. can you get the evolutions? And you'll notice Fabian has deliberately not evolved the Charmeleon. Risky. Imagine if there was a heads on Pokemon catcher last turn. Yep. That would have been absolutely gigantic, but it wasn't. And I think actually, I tell you what, Fabian has caught a break here. Yeah. Between the tails on Pokemon catcher and <laughs> then drawing canceling Cologne, this might be the turn where Fabian gets properly into this game. Yeah, because that Cancelling Cologne will turn off the active Iron Thorn's ability initialization. So that means if Fabian wants to evolve into a Charizard EX, Infernal Rain would activate. That means he could use three energy, well, attachment energy from the deck, because it looks like, oh, just debating whether to attach that double turbo energy or not. But that'd be really good. Just flood the board with energy and then start swinging. Yeah, and if, I mean, honestly, the ideal situation here is kind of like a, a double evolution into Charizard to get all of your fire energy out and go. But remember, there's only three in the deck. Actually, two in the deck now. One in the discard, one in the prizes. Wait, two on the board? There's only one left in the deck. Does have a super rod in hand, though? So OK, so you've super rod it back in, then that's two in the deck, and then you can accelerate two with Charizard. So that, it's not a great use of super. Ooh, oh, I like this. He's using the Nestash. Oh, no, but 
Cancelling Cologne. Yeah, just opted to just nest dash, put the hand to the bottom, and then a pass straight back over. Owen plays the Legacy Energy as the A spec, you know, reducing the prize card uh, if that was going to get KO'd. The Iron Thorn goes here. Boss oh, there's orders, a boss onto the barrel. Onto the big barrel. That's big here. Trying to take away that draw engine. Wow, that's huge. After the nest dash as well, Ross. So that means Fabian's going to be stuck on a one card hand. Volt Cyclone for KO. Owen Cameron takes his first prize card and Bibarrel hits the discard pile. And that's huge. Generally speaking, you're looking at that and you're going, hang on a second. Why did Owen not go after the only Charmeleon on the board? The answer is because Fabian's got a one card hand. Yeah. This is where you punish. Didn't use Bibarrel after, wasn't able to. So you bring up the Bibarrel, KO it, and basically say, look, now you don't have much of a hand. I believe we're seeing another nest dash here. Yeah, another nest dash. Now does have the grasping draw Clefa, so we'll be able to draw till he has seven cards in hand. But that is an attack, so that means that's going to be another easy prize there as Fabian does end the turn there with a the grasping draw. Over to Owen, and let's see. That's a nice big hand there. Love that. Plenty of options. No energy, though. No energy. You are correct, but it is Owen's turn now, so let's see what he's able to manufacture. Now, we're looking at the energy here. Right now, there's only one available in the deck. Could there's see a, a boss's orders into Charmeleon, potentially. That would be huge. I mean, I that maybe it's just me. I would enjoy it. Oh, it's gone to the front of the hand, Shay. Oh, I this, think, he's th thinking about it. This could be a mean play. Imagine, oh my goodness he's gracious. Definitely think, who wants to KO Clefo when you can KO the only Charmeleon? Oh no, show us that Lissandre's boss. Here, here we go, Lissandre into the Charmeleon. We're moving all Charmand and Charmeleon from Fabian side of the board. Volt Cyclone, KO. Owen Caraman takes his second prize card. Fabian, what can we do? And here's the thing, remember, Radiant Charizard doesn't have the ability. It does not. So it needs actual five energy. There's three energy on there right now. One in the prizes, one in the discard. There's only, no, two, two in the discard now. I think there's only one energy in deck right now. Here like comes a super rod. Okay, I was going to say, yeah. you have to super rod here. Because there literally isn't enough energy in the deck to get Radiant Charizard rolling right now. So we do need that. Radiant Charizard does have a lot of um, energy attached to it currently. Bear in mind, does have a, turb a double turbo. So that would reduce the damage down from 250 down to 230, which is actually still enough to carry yeah. Iron Thorns, actually. So That's fine. That's fine. The, the issue here is getting enough energy. You need four energy attachments, and there's only six energy total in the deck, and one is currently prized. Yes. So that Super Rod had to come down there. But even now, you are two turns of attachment away. And, I mean, do you think Owen might be looking for crushing hammers at this point? I imagine so. That would be real devastating. But even then, it, you attack and it gets KO'd straight back and that's all your energy gone. Like, yeah, it, that's true, because it's, it, yeah, it's taken damage already. And this is the matchup. The matchup here is basically Owen going, hey, Fabian, what are you going to attack with? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Uh, what are you going to attack with? Well, I just announced Volt Cyclone, turn off, turn off, turn. We do see another Nest Dash being used there. Well, obviously, that will be used in combination with Grasping Draw, I would imagine. So Fabian will be able to draw up to seven. Fabian can start in the discard pile there for Ernestine. How much resources do you have left? As we do see the Grasping Draw, draw to you have seven cards in your hand. So, oh, Temple of Sinnoh could be impactful, Ross. Unfair Stamp as well. Not too bad, Unfair Stamp. One of the, I think probably one of the, well, Definitely one of the best A specs out there. It's your opponent takes a KO, and then next turn you put them down to a two card hand while getting five for yourself. So we do see an energy coming down here. We got the active, but of course, remember, Temple of Sinnoh will turn off legacy energy, yes. which will mean you don't get a prize reduction when you take the KO. So the timing for Temple of Sinnoh probably going to be quite big here. And we do see, going with the shuffling up here, it's a judge. Both players getting a new hand of four cards. That's strong, you know, because, you know, Fabian did end the turn there with a grasping draw. So you can say, right, that's that nice big hand of seven that you want. You don't have it anymore. Going to have a hand of four. And let's see what Owen draws here. Because might be able to remove the Clefa from play to remove any option of grasping draw afterwards. We do see a crushing hammer, Ross. We did mention how important that could be. Let's see what else is in the hand. Was there a catcher as well? No, uh, Urban Vessel Judge, Professor's Research. And then that crushing hammer as well. Here we go, crushing hammer. People Big calling it heads. It is Removing a head. energy, and there goes that basic fire of that bench radiant Charizard. And here's the thing: Fabian is now minimum two turns away from a, a getting an attack off. 
You need to manually attach to the Charmander and then manually attach a second time. This is assuming no cancelling cologne, of course. If we now. Do see a basic energy attached to the active? This unfair stamp could be huge. There it is. Oh my goodness. So we see the cancelling clone being played of unfair stamp as well. That means Owen's going to have a two card hand. Fabian gets a new hand of six. And with that cancelling clone being played, Infernal Rain is live. And that means, okay, so we need, I think we need one energy attached. No, Charizard's got free energy on. So Charizard can attack. Yes. Charizard will be getting a KO. Oh, oh and the Sinnoh's big. Because that means you get two prizes rather than one. You get the legacy energy turned off, essentially. So that's kind of awesome. Great time to pull that. But you didn't get the Charizard to use the Charizard's ability. But there is an Ultra Ball in the hand, though. Do you have a rare candy? Oh, no, there wasn't a rare candy. You're right. You're uh, right so there's right. no oh, Charizard. Yeah. And here's the yeah, thing. You're going to get the KO this turn. But then Iron Fawn's KOs you right back, and you've not got any energy on the board again. Yeah. And that's kind of the whole game here, is Owen just going, you don't have energy. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> so, I mean, look, there's a lot going right for Fabian this turn. Hitting the Temple of Sinnoh, great. Getting the Cancelling Cologne so you can actually get a KO, great. But you're not getting any other energy down yeah. on the board, and that's what you really need here. Yeah, you're right. The unfair stamp, you could argue, was a bit unfair there for Fabian. You know, had the had the Cancelling Cologne at the start of the turn, it could have been really explosive, but you're right, just not quite enough to potentially get over the line. We'll be taking two prize cards here, though, if he chooses to attack. And Temple of Sinnoh, like you said, would remove that legacy energy as well, turning it into an effective, just a, bait, uh, a clueless energy for what it's worth. So, yeah, tough there for Fabian. Let's see what he chooses to do. Yeah, well, ideally, I mean, look, Fabian was asking for a lot here. The ideal term, and it was asking a lot, the ideal term was to get your Charizard and your Cancelling Cologne, which we've got your Radiant Charizard, and then your reset stamp for essentially... It's Temple of Sinnoh, Rare Candy, Charizard. Now, had you hit all of that, and again, you're asking a lot, but if you can hit all of that, that is about the best possible turn. That would have been amazing, but hasn't quite been able to manufacture that. Looks like the players are having a little discussion about something here. Well, we'll get confirmation, we'll get that over to you. But yeah, Iron Thorns into... Ch I was actually really surprised with how popular Iron Thorns is here today, Ross. Because what was it, like the fifth most played Sixth. deck, I think? Sixth most Sixth played most deck. Sixth most played deck. 63 of them in total. That is a lot of Iron Thorns. I, um, yeah, I took a little bit of a screenshot of seeing me looking down. I'm like, oh, let's have a look down at this data, shall we? Yeah, there's yeah. 63 of them in total. The most played deck, Reggie Drago, at 277. And that's kind of what we expected, right? Yep. And let's face it, round one, what won on stream today? Reggie Drago. Well, round two, what won on stream today? Reggie Drago. So, I mean, you know, we're just <laughs> bucking the trend here. We're not having <laughs> Reggie Drago winning on stream in round three. But it is, you know, if people say, oh, why, why is that on stream two rounds in a row? Because there's 277 of them. They are absolutely everywhere. So we have got a judge review going on here. As always, we're not going to be speculating. When we have information to share, we're going to share it with you. Yes. People are nice back here. When there's something to know, they'll tell us. We'll tell you. We'll get on with the game. Jobs are good un. Yeah, so it will get involved with that when we do have confirmation as of what happened and what will be the resolution of that but I tell you what, look like that game was really unfolding, really interesting. The Iron Force is really just doing its job, right? Just saying, yeah. you know, initialization, I'm just going to stop you there for a second, please. And it's interesting, right? Because we mentioned, you know, Canteen Clone does exist in a lot of decks right now. But it's almost like, even though you have the answer, you still need to find it, and you still need to be able to capitalize on yeah. using it as well. Because as we did see there, you know, Fabian did play the um, Canteen Clone and then, then played the Unfair Stamp. But if you don't have the Rare Candy Charizard combination, as impactful as you really wanted it to be. Yeah, you're going to get one use of your Radiant Charizard because then the abilities turn back on, the attack cost is reduced. So you get the reduction, you get the KO, but then you get KO'd straight back. Cancelling Cologne is great, but it is a one-shot thing. It is not this magic yes. win-all button. <laughs> it is a, <laughs> yeah. for one turn, your job gets a little bit easier, but it is very much a, a part. And here's what I'm seeing about Charizard here. I don't want to sound mean when I say this. Okay. Charizard got greedy. <laughs> Charizard yeah. lists have gotten very, yeah. very greedy lately. Yeah. Five basic fire, one double turbo. And the reason Charizard lists have gotten greedy is because you've got the ability of Charizard EX that searches out free energy. 
So you don't even need to play much energy search. Charizard's got your back. Yes. you got Radiant Charizard that reduces its own attack cost based on how many prizes your opponent has taken. Yep. And because they are your main attackers, you can get greedy. Yeah. But because you get greedy, decks like Iron Fawns are like, oh, hi, how you, do how you doing? Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm totally taking advantage of that. And between turning off Radiant Charizard's ability, Right. Between turning off Charizard X ability yeah. and then bringing out Crushing Hammers as well, yeah. so far, Fabian's not got an attack off this game. That is a fantastic point, actually. Yeah, you're right. And I just love the Iron Fawn's like, hello, just with his little hammer, just flies that energy you got there. Dink. See that later. I've got um, a brilliant virtual image of just Iron Fawn's just running around with a Crushing Hammer, it's getting rid of all of that energy. It's, and look, I've been pretty vocal since I got to Hawaii. Okay. I don't like Iron Fawns as a deck. I think there's too many bad matchups. Right. But I am willing to be proven wrong, Shay. Yeah. Uh, I'm the same. I wasn't terribly convinced coming into the event, but it's hard to argue when you see Iron Fawns just grind what a top three deck in format down to a halt of that Charizard, at least on seeing it on stream here. So that's the thing. Like, even though Iron Fawns isn't the most convincing, it is on paper still really strong, right? Being able to turn off all wall box abilities is just very, very strong. And the attack is what I'm not most sold on. 140 is just not a great number. But if your opponent's literally, like we mentioned, just not even attacking back, 140 is fine. But this is like your standard blocking Pokemon. We see a Cornerstone EX Ogapon doesn't have a very good attack. Mimikyu from Powder Evolve doesn't have a yep. very good attack. These Pokemon that block. As long as they've got an attack which is eh, fine, that's good enough. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Like, if your opponent's not doing anything, all of a sudden, you know, putting seven damage counters on the active and guard to Mimikyu is fine, like you said. Or even one thing I really like about this sort of Iron Fawns and Mimikyu is that, you know, Guard of Our plays a lot of tool cards, uh, TM cards. You can sort of get around Mimikyu not having a good attack. When you're using TM Evo or TM Devo, all of a sudden it's now can't be hit by anything in the active and doing really cool things. Like we saw Turbo Energize being used here as well. Sometimes these Iron Fawn decks do play, you know, de-evolution to yep. de-evolve everything. So all of a sudden, having that not so great or mediocre attack can be mitigated. Absolutely. That's the whole deal with Iron Fawns. Great ability, just good enough attack, and you add it up. And, you know, as we look down the metagame here, there's 277 Registrago. Now, I don't think that's an auto win by any stretch. It, that's... That one seems like it could go either way. Yes. Yeah, yeah, for but sure. But the way we get past that, right, 147 Charizard. We're seeing this matchup right here, and it seems like Iron Fawns has an option. And then number three, 145 Archeops Lugia. Well, this one's really simple. Yep. If they don't use their V-Star power, they will not win the game. No. Now, that's where one canceling clone V-Star power Archeops, yay, Yeah. That's really comes in handy. Or <laughs> Fluttermane gets played in some Lugia decks as well for that reason, right? does indeed and then flutter main turns off iron fawns and yep. then you can but and, you know if you can stop lugia yeah and you're hitting weakness as well of course against yep, lugia for sure then you can win kind of that so it looks like we've got a little bit of a replay coming in here oh and i think that's it looks like owen drew four oh. cards off an unfair stamp Rather instead of the normal two. two there we go so it looks like that was that was the that's what's happening and i think we do have judges there currently on the stage reviewing that so when we do have confirmation of, you know, what the conclusion is of that, we will relay that to you. But just to confirm, it looks like Owen Cameron drew four cards off an unfair, unfair stamp instead of two. That was my assumption. When an unfair stamp is played and then immediately the game stops, someone drew too many cards most of the time. Yeah, for sure. But I ain't going to be telling you that on stream until I've had a look at the replay yeah, and yeah. seen it. We're not dealing in speculation here. Nope, that doesn't nope. help anyone. No, 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 no. But we saw the replay. We saw Owen draw the four cards. That is unfortunately pretty conclusive. And remember, it was like a minute before that that Owen played a judge and drew four. Yeah. And we've all been there. You're thinking, oh, shuffle, draw four. Oh, no, wait, that was last turn. We've all been there. So Iron Fawns, I do think there is a possibility of it being a very good deck. Yeah. I do think it's very matchup dependent. Yeah. If you come against a good deck that isn't playing many abilities on rule box Pokemon, that's when things can come unstuck very, very quickly. You know, Raging Bolt, you can't use your Teal Mask Ogapon nope. to attach energy and draw cards. But you can still attach, you can still play Professor Sada. Yep. You can still get potentially plus three energy a turn. And then if you can do that a couple of times, you've got enough energy to KO a couple of Iron Fawns, and if you run them out of energy, you win. Yep. 
So that doesn't seem like the best matchup ever. So it, it really is, it's not ideal, I think it's fair to say, against everything. But look, if there was a deck that just beat everything, everyone well, would play that deck. Exactly, <laughs> everyone would be playing it, and then all of a sudden we wouldn't be seeing Reggie Drago with such high percentage of the meta. Um, because it'd be that obvious and everyone would play that deck as well. And that's one thing I really like about just meta games in general. There's never normally like a perfect deck for everything. So you are going to be taking percentage points here and percentage points off there and then see, you know, what matchups you hit. Could Iron Thorns be that sort of wonder deck? I mean, it's got like we've, we've, we've been explaining. It has its options and I can't, can't wait to see how it all unfolds. I did not have it being as popular uh, as it is this weekend, that's for sure. No, absolutely not. Now, it does look like we've got a little top-down view here, and it looks like Owen has now got a hand of two cards, and things have been shuffled and put on top. So it looks like we're going to be getting back very, very quickly. We will get a confirmation of... Now, we have now had confirmation that it was drawing too many cards off an unfair stamp, as we assumed. The question now is about penalty, and when a penalty has been assessed, and when we got confirmation of what, exactly what's happened, we will, of course, let you know. For the time being, we, well, we wait and see. It looks like play has been restarted. I see a boss's orders. We do see that Temple of Sinnoh coming down. It looks like we are going to see a combustion blast as well. Is that Abe? Has he got enough energy to do that? I can't remember how yes, many prize because, cards we've taken so at this Owen point. has taken three prize cards, I believe, and that means that the Charizard can use to. And yes, there we see. Look at the top right-hand corner of the screen, ladies and gentlemen we can see that we've got the cards being blocked out there. That means that Fabian only needs to take two more prizes in order to win the game, but is about to be run out of energy. Yes, so that is how that works. Legacy energy is still attached as well. We'll be able to use this Vault Cyclone, but you're right. It looks pretty good there for Fabian, but remember that Cancelling Clone did get played at the start of this turn, so that's no longer an option. So, yeah, all this energy will be removed after this Vault Cyclone. And let's see what Fabian can do. Just got to decide which energy to move off yourself, because that is a necessary stipulation of Vault Cyclone. It's going to move that Legacy energy to the bench. And there goes Radiant Charizard sent to the discard pile. Owen Caraman takes his third prize card. And let's see what Fabian can do. Yeah, moving Legacy energy is a pretty good call. It doesn't do anything while Temple of Sinnoh is in play. So you might as well move it off, try and wait for a time when Temple of Sinnoh is not in play. And there are three Lost City in the deck, so there are counter stadiums. We see an energy onto Charmander, Ooh. and we see an Iron O, which is going to put Owen down to two cards. Now here's where the prize card, this is where the penalty is interesting. Fabian gets four cards. You no longer take the prize card yeah, penalty. Yeah. It is just two fewer prize cards to take, and that is very relevant for cards like Iron O. It really is. I tell you what, the Iron Oak could be super impactful as well. Resetting Owen's hand down to two. Here comes the third. Nothing else being played there for Pivan. Oh, we do see a Pokemon catcher, Ross. We could see a Pokemon catcher onto this the Charmander to remove an energy. Flip a coin if that's what your opponent's it's heads. And it's heads. It's a two. Charmander gets sent into the active and will most likely get KO'd. Oh, does he use another energy, actually, because the uh, Temple of Sinnoh does turn off that double turbo? Yeah, we'll need an energy, but that's why we're using Arvin to go for an Earthen Vessel. That is not an issue, and it's not just the Charmander going down. It is the energy going down. I told you, Shay, I'm not watching Turtles. I am watching energy in this game, and that means Fabian is now... It, there was an option, Rare Candy, Charizard, energy, boom, I can attack. Not an option now going to say Arvin there taking a future booster energy capsule and an energy lotto but let's not forget the future booster energy capsule for attached to the active will give it a free retreat cost energy lotto look at top seven grabbing energy will we see one Whoa. oh can't quite see uh, no, no that was energy. a miss that was a miss so going to shuffle those back up but does have that future booster energy capsule to attach to the active that will give it a free retreat cost we just retreat into the bench iron thorns and be able to attack with that and that one does have enough it's as, you know, the, the Legacy Energy is just one colorless energy. The Double Turbo is just one colorless energy. Yes. But that's enough with the Lightning to use the Attack Vault Cyclone there. So there we go. We get the KO. And Fabian at this stage has got to be thinking that this game is maybe a bit too far out yep, of hand. We think see the concession. Yep. And Owen Cameron will take game one. 
and does it in convincing fashion there as well, you know, outside of the unfair stamp. I would say Owen was in the driver's seat the whole of that game. I think Fabian announced one attack, right, that whole one game? One attack, one KO, that was it. I'm going to pose you a question here, Shay. Okay. What if more flips were tails? Because we had yeah, two, was it two or three, we, no, we had one Pokemon. The Sui and Heavy Ball being played to grab a Bidoof out of the prize card. Uh, Owen has led, funnily enough, who would have thought it, an Iron Thorns EX, and Fabian, obviously going first, has a Charmander in the active, and after uh, a Sui and Heavy Ball being played, has a Bidoof on the bench, and that's Grove it over to Owen, who's going to kick off his first turn. What do we have here? I see judges, I see Arvin, I see Techno Radar as well, and you know what that means, Ross? That means you have a ton of options as we look at Fabian's prizes there quickly on the right. Boss is ordered super, well. buddy buddy popping counter catcher. See, I'm not worried about that. I no. am worried a bit more about Owen's prizes. Ooh. Owen has got two bosses orders prize. Now he does play the full four. Yep. But we saw how impactful it was. If you've only got two available, it means you're going to find them less easily, and that could be an issue. So Techno Radar, here we go. Here we see those two bosses orders. They are both at the bottom. We expect to pull them quite quickly. But there's also the one copy of Turbo Energize Prize. And of course, Shay, we saw in game yep. one, big deal. That was a big option. And I think that might be what Owen's looking for here because that's really, that's a, that's a great turn one play. And you know, we do know that Fabian does play Temple of Sinner. So you've got two ways of sort of accelerating energy in this deck, right? You've got the Turbo Energize and you've got double Turbo Energy. But now with, the, with Turbo Energize not being an option, if Fabian was to stick the Temple of Sinner again, all of a sudden, Volt Cyclone is an extremely expensive attack to use. If we do see Crushing Hammer, that is a Tails. That energy on the Charmander will be staying. As we do see Arvin being played here for Owen. Yeah, also worth noting, Owen plays three counter stadiums to that Temple of Sinnoh. Yes, yeah, for sure. And one of them is prized as well. So actually really awkward prizes for Owen in this game. But we need an energy attachment. Luckily, we do have an Earthen Vessel off of the Arvin because you cannot miss the energy attachment here. And I think, yeah, we definitely cannot afford to miss a basic energy attachment here, especially if Turbo Energize isn't an option. But it's going to be a very different game to game one. Game one, we saw Iron Thorn swinging super early and being super disruptive. So far, we have a Tails flip on Crushing Hammer, and we will not be seeing a Turbo Energize. So that means it's going to be a lot harder for Owen to start attacking. And let's see if Owen is able to apply that pressure. Because I think as good as initiali initialization is for Owen, you do need to be applying pressure. We saw the Bibao will get KO'd last last game early on. We need to be taking prizes as we do see a basic energy attached to the bench Iron Thorns and maybe the future boost energy capsule, maybe not. Uh, just another bench to Iron Thorns. And there's a big point here why you attach to the bench. Yes. There, is a po there is a possibility here that Fabian goes Rare Candy, Charizard, attached from hand and attacks. And we do see an evolution into Ooh. Charizard. And that means that we could potentially, and an Ino as well, Oh, does he have an energy? No energy in no that hand energy. so far, but does have an Ultra Ball and Barrel. Okay. And so Nestash as well, so you can, you know, put all cards to the bottom and draw five, or well, before I should say, Nestash, hand to the bottom. Draw this one. Good. Was that Canceling Clone or that Super? I think it's quite safe. But here's four off Industrious Incisor. Are we going to see a basic energy? We're no, not. we're not. Oh my goodness. Oh, we see the face there from Fabian. He is not impressed, and I don't blame him. And that was just a pass after that, Ross, over to Owen. This also doesn't have a double turbo energy here, though. No, that is not ideal. The double turbo does play a full four copy, so it is one you can have a, a reasonable expectation of seeing moderately quickly. But it's not ideal from either player here. Nobody actually able to throw off attacks. We got the future booster energy capsule for free retreat. Yeah. And like I say, we put the energy on the bench just in case an attack came out. So you're attacking with a fresh one here. Pokemon catch up. Tails. So we got two right. I'm going to be counting heads and tails in this game, okay, Shay. I'm you giving do a little that. bit of a lip. You do that. And we are going to tails. see Professor's research there being played for Owen. Seven new cards. Did have to discard a Bice's order. So only one copy available outside of the prizes here for Owen. We do see a double turbo energy, though. So we will be seeing a Volt Cyclone at the very least. Yeah, and this is nice. Remember, Charizard. Oh, but it's not even a two-hit KO. You're only doing uh, 120. It's a three-hit yeah. KO here. Unless we have a future boost energy capture in hand, which we do not. Even if we did. Oh, that wouldn't have mattered, actually. Yeah, you're right, yeah. <laughs> would only do 140, doubled is 280. Even if you had the non-reduction of a double turbo and a future boost energy capsule, it would still be a three-hit KO. It's not ideal here. This is what you were saying about the numbers earlier. Right, here, oh, oh, we saw the Nestash basic 
energy. Well done, Squove. And then we're going to see a full five in Dershus and Sides as the Barrel has a Temple of Sinnoh as well as the Charmander. Fantastic turn there for Fabian. We'll be able to announce Burning Darkness for the first time here in our feature match here, round three at the World Championships. This is such a different game to game one. We've got a yeah. Charizard with two energy on early. We've seen Owen flipping two tails out of two. We've seen just Fabian actually get rolling here, and that is so different. And here's the problem that Owen's in now. He's free hit KOing, he's on one. He's not getting a KO this turn. Oh, oh. Penny helps though. But the problem I've got here is, even if you flip heads on Crushing Hammer, mm. Fabian can still just attach and attack next turn. Yeah, I mean, unless we saw two Crushing Hammer heads, that would be the ideal scenario, but we don't see one in hand after the Penny. Can't use Arvin to go find another one. So it looks like I was going to see a Volt Cyclone again for 120 damage off that double turbo, 280 damage over on that Charizard, over to Fabian. Let's see what happens. You see a uh, Charmeleon evolution there. We see another basic energy in hand, but that's going to go to the bottom of the deck by Nestash. Ross going to draw one. Let's see what it's going to be. It's another an energy. basic energy. Well done, Scrovit, finding all the energy so far. Looking going to attach it to the Charmeleon in Dirtrius and Sires. Ross going to draw five new cards as well. Now, that's good and bad. I love getting the attachment on the Charmeleon, but there is a world here in which Owen flips heads on Crushing Hammer, yeah, yeah. gets the energy off the Charmeleon while KO in the Charizard, yep. and Fabian goes into next turn that with is. all three of those energy in the discard. That's why we saw the hesitation to attach that energy. And let's have a look over at Owen's hand there. Not the greatest. Is even a support, I think there's an Arvin at the very least. There's a Poke Gear that could go and find one. Then you look at the top seven and grab any support you find there, or one, and put it in your hand. Now and this we are going to see the full gear being played. That is not going to be a penny here. Oh, it actually draws the one boss's orders that's still left in the deck yep. as an option. But okay, so here's where we are with Owen. You can just attach to the active and attack. Yes. But then if Fabian evolves into a Charizard and manually attaches, we'll get the return KO. Owen really wants to attach with a fresh Iron Thorns here but doesn't have the energy to do so. Double turbo, oh no, he does. He's got two double turbo in hand. So clearly, oh, I we like the Lost City there. Maybe we're gonna boss his, or oh, we're gonna boss his orders with Barrel. Remember, Lost City, any Pokemon that's carried while it's in play, will get sent to the Lost Zone instead of the discard pile. And it looks like we are gonna see a Volt Cyclone gonna be used here, just to bet on what energy to put to the benched Pokemon. So we are gonna see that Lightning gonna carry that with Barrel sent to the Lost Zone as Owen takes his first prize card here. Let's see what Pavan has. I think does have Arvin in hand and an Ultra Ball. So we could see cancelling Cologne plus Charizard EX combo here. Defiance Band getting moved to the front. Or oh, Fair stamp. stamp even oh, as stamp, well. Sorry. Yeah, that's quite a big one. I know in there basically saying, look, I'm going to take out your Bibarel. I'm going to give up this Iron Thorns right now. I don't think giving up this one is going to be a huge issue, especially when you're not already KOing the Charizard. Yep. But Fabian here needs an energy, or I mean, ideally a Charizard. Yeah. But if he doesn't get that, then Owen could have a monster turn next turn. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot of ifs, buts, and maybes rolling around at the moment. It's Charizard we're looking at for Fabian. Draws an Ultra Ball, Just we got an it. Ultra Ball, yep, well done there. That's fantastic. Free retreat from that Cleffer. Amazing card there. We saw popular at the EUIC. And we're going to see a Buddy Buddy Puffin being played, letting you grab any two basic Pokemon and put them on your bench, as long as they have under 70 HP. Pidgey going to come down. Did we not see the Canton Cologne this turn? No. Oh, so we can't get it. OK, so here's the problem. We're now back to where we were last get last turn. Yes. There is a possibility for Owen here to remove all the energy off the board. And Canton Cologne, I mean, it's not been played. Nope. But there would, you would then have to hit Canton Cologne Charizard. Pokemon Catcher! It's a Tails. Tails. That's another tail to be added to your tally there. We are going to see Energy Lotto. Does have all oh, the double turbo energy could be taken here, or the one copy of Lightning. Looks like double turbo energy is going to be taken. We actually needed to find the energy this turn for Owen to attack. That's one piece of the puzzle gone. Now, off that unfair stamp to two, Owen did draw Professor Research. We will be able to discard a hand and draw seven new cards as well. So it's a very good card there off the unfair stamps. It is going to be played, Ross. What are we going to see? Crushing Hammer would be ideal. There There's is a Crushing, crushing hammer. hammer. Uh oh, uh oh, crushing. 
Owen Cameron, are you going to do it? Crushing hammer. Are Haven't we going to see head? This game yet. And, and does have right one now. When it matters. Oh my goodness. Three energy will be removed from Fabian's side of the board this turn. Could this be the turn that Owen starts to win this game? It's now cancelling Cologne, Charizard or Bus. That's essentially Owen's route back into this game at this stage. And we do, now there is a Charmander down, a Charmeleon down. You need Cancelling Cologne, you need Charizard. It needs to be that two-card combination. I saw an Arvin, that could grab, that could grab the Cancelling Cologne. Do we see an Ultra Ball in the hand? I have to check that. There's a Cancelling Cologne there taken off There was an Ultra Arvin. Ball in hand last turn, but we've got, uh, there's no Pokemon V down to use that yet. No, but there is an Ultra Ball in hand. There so is, I thought there was. Okay, so we can see the Cancelling Cologne combination. Okay, so this gets Fabian back into the game. Now, Energy check. I've not been watching the energy enough. We've seen two removed from the board. There's none in the prizes. That should leave two in the deck. Okay, I was going to say, Superod here would be amazing. And yeah, we're not even going to shuffle them back into the deck because here comes Cancelling Cologne. Here comes Charizard. Attaches free energy. That isn't a good place to put that third energy. But remember, Iron Thorns is free hit KOing Charizard. Yeah. That is the weakness in this particular matchup for Iron Fawns, the fact that you're not getting even a two-hit KO here. Yeah, that's tough, as we are going to see the flip. The script's been able to be used now as well, because the initialization has been turned off. Three extra cards there for Fabian. Does he a Temple of Sinnoh as well? That's going to be really hard. That's going to make it hard for Owen to attack. We're going to be moving double turbo energy. Burning Darkness is going to be doing a ton of damage. Big KO there. That's 270. That yep. is easily enough to KO. And I think at this stage, Fabian might have this game, yeah, honestly. Yeah, sure. Because you need a way to get rid, either take three prizes quickly, which I'm not seeing, or get rid of that Charizard. I was going to say, we did see the, the TM devolution there off that uh, Poke Gear, but since that Charizard... Oh, that Charizard did get come and play with a rare candy, did it? Or it, was it did come in with a Ooh. rare candy. Oh, but it's got a tool card got attached to Iron Thorn already. Oh, can't it, do that. Nope, you could TM Devolution if you didn't have a tool, but you do have a tool. So I, I, it's getting very, very rough here for Owen. We've got 17 minutes left in the game. We do have time for a game three, which is lovely. But listen, we've got a Temple of Sinnoh coming down here as well. Oh, it's, I mean, it's in play is what I mean, which makes it even more yep. difficult for Owen to actually get an attack off here. And this is where things are getting very, very dodgy. We're kind of in a reverse of game one. It's now Owen who is struggling for energy. That's a lot of energy getting discarded. But if we see TM Devolution here, we could use it this turn, but misses. Do see a crushing hammer not as impactful now because that Charizard does have three basic energy on it. Sort of crushing hammer proofing itself, as it were. Let's yeah. see what Owen can do. There's so much energy discarded from the research. That concession from Owen, I think it might be. It is indeed. We are 1-1. One, one. We are going to game three. And yeah, that third energy on Charizard, very deliberate, basically going, you have to hit double crushing hammer or I've guaranteed an attack next turn. That, and oh, I love this. I love best of threes, where we see one deck winning as the deck tends to do. Yep. And we see the other deck winning as the deck tends to do. And then we actually get a situation where we get both decks have done their thing and won one game, and then we go to game three. That makes me happy. Yeah. Owen Cameron has led the Iron Thorns. Game three, energy attachment to the active and a pass over to Fabian. Wow, look at that hand. To use one of our fellow casters, turn Benjamin Rabiot, in an accordion hand, as it were. We have so <laughs> many options, you can't even see them all. You have to hand them out like this. Oh my goodness. Yeah, 12 card opening hand is quite the advantage. We see boss's orders. Largely a pointless card in this deck a lot of the time. Yeah. Now, there'll be times that you hit an Iron Falls, it retreats, and you want to bring it active to finish it off. But it's not big in this matchup. We see two Ultra Ball Prize. We see the one Rabska, which is not for this matchup. So, yeah, not terrible prizes there. And I've had a quick look at the other side. There are two, there's one Devolution and two Future Boost Energy Capsules. So, a bit worse for Owen, but nothing, nothing terrible yet. You don't need TM Devolution for a couple of times. No, that is true. And it does look like it's at the bottom of the prizes. So traditionally, not all the time, traditionally players take their prizes at the bottom to top. So that will be getting liberated after one of the first two cases. We are going to see Luminion getting benched. Can't obviously use that. Uh, can't use Luminous Sign, but can still use Fire Seal Stone because the ruling is that the ability is on the tool card, not on the Pokemon it's attached to. Yep. So we are going to see it looks like that Star Alchemy being used 
to grab the Buddy Buddy Poffin. It's going to grab the Cleffer and the Scrovit. That was very, very nice. We got a Pidgey down. We got a Scrovit down. We got a Cleffer. We got a Charm. Uh, we got Luminion. And we got a Charmander. We're using Nestash here. Wow. So after that big hand, it's going to go right back down to a one. Oh, so can use Grass Bin Draw, of course. Yeah. Going to get right back up to seven. Fair enough. Right, Owen. What can we do? Is there a judge, first of all? We'd love to see that. And we'd love to see a double turbo. There's a Pokemon catcher as well. Catcher could get rid of the only Charmander Roth if it's used in combination with a Bolt Cyclone. That's the other thing I'm looking for here. Generally speaking, you're not using Scrovit unless you follow it up with your Cleffer or your b yeah, to get true. a bigger hand. True, true. But I'm looking at trying to go after the Charmander here. Go after the attackers, because that's as good as going after the energy. There is one in the discard and one in the prizes. So Fabian's only got three in the deck to draw into right now. That is something to keep an eye on. Do we have a way to get that Charmander into the active combined with a double turbo? That would be the dream for Owen right now. That would be the dream. On the back of this Ivan, it looks like Owen is it did eye up the turbo energize. So might be going for a slower turn. That obviously wasn't an option in game one. So it looks like you're gonna say, right, let me actually take take my foot off the gas a little bit but have easier attacks going throughout the game. I don't mind as we are going to see Techno Radar and you discard one card from your hand to grab any two future Pokemon. Fantastic in a deck like this, because that searches 50% of the Pokemon in your deck with one item. Yeah, that's not too bad. I'm having a look at Fabian's hand here. Right. And I'm seeing there's a rare candy, but there's no Charizard. No. And the only supporters that I think are Iron Oak. Yep. So Fabian's going to have to kind of get rid of one of those rare candies and reset what would... So that, that giant opening hand, it's held out with basics, but not much else. It wasn't even an energy attachment turn one. No, as we are, looks like we're going to see a bench, iron thorns, an energy attachment to the bench. We see that technical machine turbo energize attached to the active as well. Going to bench that nice full art um, iron thorns. I'm going to let you into a little secret here, Ross. I'm a big fan of those full art future cars. That's just a bit of me, that purple, as we are going to see turbo energize being used as well. Love this, gives you a, an Iron Fawn sitting there on the bench ready to go. And the one in the active is a tur double turbo energy away from going. So back to Fabian here, we got a little buddy buddy pop in, going to grab a, well, could be a couple basics, it's just one, it is Bidoof. And look, we've seen how much Fabian's used Bidoof. We've seen Owen in both games go after the Bidoof or the VRL. Yep. We know how important that is. Palpad is going to put Thornton back. Yep, very impactful. Fun fact, only one N in Thornton. Yep. Commonly mispronounced supporter card. Yeah, I think it's something <laughs> I actually pronounced a lot that way myself until I was swiftly told otherwise. <laughs> but it is going to get shuffled back in. We're going to see the Nest Dash. Are we going to? Well, we're going to see a Grass Are we even going to play that Iron I'm not sure. There is the Nest Dash, though. So Iron going to the bottom. Worth yeah. noting as well for Owen, that Luminion is weak to lightning. So that would be a one-hit KO via the Volt Cyclone, as we are going to see Fabian using that Grass Bin draw. Over to Owen now. Big turn here. Boss is always off the top, Ross. Love to see it. There is still only one Charmander on the board. There's that Luminion. It's a nice little option. But look, you're playing four Pokemon Catcher. You're playing four Boss's Orders. You don't need to rush. Oh, three Pokemon Catcher, sorry. Only three. It looks like after that poke gear, we are going to see that judge being taken. Interesting. Why has Owen got him? I mean, you look all going to pay the judge. Okay. I don't mind the judge here. Judge here is quite nice. Because here's the thing. Fabian doesn't have an energy attachment yet. Yeah, this is it's true. not just a lack of evolution. It's a lack of energy. So Fabian is just going, look. Oh, so Owen's going, look. I've got the KO on board with either a double turbo or a future boost energy cap. So either of those gets me a KO. And you've got nothing going here at all. I don't need to go after something like a Charmander, although Ooh. four supporters, yeah. I don't think there's an attack here. Nope, there's not an attack. We're just going to see a pass is what we're going to see. Would have loved to have seen a future boost to energy capsule. Over to Fabian. There are two prizes worth pointing out, so that might be why we're not drawing into them. There's only three in the deck, yep. two are in the prizes. We do see Arvin being played here, going to grab an Ultra Ball by looks of it. And a TM Evolution, that's really nice. Going to be able to end your turn with a big barrel. And a Charmeleon at the very least. Ultra Ball going to be played. Oh, and it could be a Charizard X, right? Because you could evolve into... Oh, no, going to get rid of the E-Evolution anyway. As we get the bow, so we can draw some cards there whilst we have Industrious Insight. Yeah, I kind of like this. You've got the Rare Candy in hand. You're hoping to hit the Charizard. But once again, it is energy that is the issue for Fabian. We attach manually. Great. 
but you kind of need to get a second attachment off. Do we get the no. Charizard? Oh. Unless, well, we're going to history and it only takes basics, so we're unable to... I don't think there's any basics. No, that there was not. Charizard and the Rabska. So those prizes are going to get put back. We're going to see a Nest Dash. The old Nest Dash Grasping Draw combination. If you look at Professor's research there, look like off that uh, Nest Dash and then Grasping Draw. We're going to draw six. Yeah, Fabian's gotten a lot of use out of that Cleffer, but once again, Crushing Hammer gets rid of all the energy. Pokemon Catcher gets rid of all the energy. Lo uh, Boss's Orders gets rid of all the energy. But no, Owen just going for a Judge Jig saying, look, you keep using Cleffa, I keep using Judge, and frankly, yeah. you've got very little going right now outside of your Bibarel. I'm just going to keep judging. And to be fair, this could be a turn where Owen can start attacking. Do we still top energy? We Double see it up turbo. the top. Oh, okay, imagine if we saw a Pokemon Catcher there as well. Not quite. No, no gusting, just a double turbo. And that's the, the problem here is it is opening the door for Fabian oh. to go. Didn't attack. No, chose not to attack there. Doesn't Doesn't want to get rid of the Cleffer here. Oh, I guess if you were to attack, that gives Fabian the opportunity to put down a second Charmander. So maybe Owen just wants to remove the only Charmander before, well, so, there, so there's no chance of him benching and rare handing in another one, perhaps? I think also playing around Defiance ban here, because oh, if okay. you take one prize, Charizard hits for 210, is then behind on prizes, and Defiance Ban will then hit 240 and get the KO. Okay. Yeah. I believe that might be also a play around Defiance Ban at this stage of the game. We do see Industrious Incisors being used there for Fabian, and it looks like we are going to see that's a lot of cards there. Industrious Incisors into Nest Dash into Grasping Draw, and there we are going to see the Grasping Draw being used. Six new cards there. Over to Owen now. Let's see what he can do. And it's like, yep. Uh, we do see a Charizard rare candy. Was there a Charizard in that hand? There was not a Charizard. There were two rare candy, but there wasn't. And we Pokemon do. Pokemon Catcher Ross! In yes, the head! The there goes the Charmander! And this is yes. brilliant. I love not taking the KO on the. Now, it didn't actually matter in the end, but being able to get the KO oh, on the Charmander. Charmander does have to go to the Lost Zone because of Lost City, though. There it goes. Yeah. But yeah, as you carry on, Ross, sorry. I was going to say the combination of not allowing Fabian to bench another Pokemon and not allowing the potential KO with Defiance Ban. Two good reasons not to go after the Cleffer last turn. Sometimes it's a little jarring when you see players giving up an easy KO, but when it's players like Owen, there's always good reasons. There were two very good reasons not to go the Cleffer, and hitting heads there, that was a huge KO. And here's the thing, Fabian is bench locked. Yep. Fabian could only bench one Charmander per turn, and Owen plays four bosses' orders, one of which was picked up off... Oh, no, they're not prizes today, game. That was last game. <laughs> plays four bosses' orders, three Pokemon Catcher. There's a lot of gusting in this deck. As we do see the unfair stamp being used there for Fabian. He's going to try and get control of this game. We do see a basic energy. We do see a cancelling clone could obviously be used at some point of the game. There we are to that basic energy attached to that Charmander. We're now going to see a Nest Dash, I would imagine, plus Industrious and Sizes combination. And what was that? We see an Arvin off the top there. And we're going to see Industrious and Sizes, I would imagine, to draw four as well. There is a world here in which Owen just gusts up the Lone Charmander yep. every turn for the rest of the game and just wins. <laughs> exactly. There's only three minutes left. We've got to be quick. There's no, there's no gusting. It's going to have it's to be... Professor's Research, yeah. Yeah, it's got to be Professor's Research. But again, I don't. It's so awkward. You've got so little time left. But if you KO Cleffer, then you open up a second Charmander. But it could evolve anyway. So I think at this stage, yeah. you do rush for prizes. There's less than three minutes remaining. And even though Fabian can now bench a second Charmander, could have evolved. So it doesn't really matter anywhere near as much. Worth noting that Pidgeot EX is weak to Lightning as well. Yeah, it is. So Owen can KO Luminion and Pidgeot in one attack, right? Pidgeot, yes. Pidgeot, you have to use yeah, the one that basic, doesn't have yeah. double turbo. But Luminion, Luminion, you can. Yeah. Or you can use Future Booster with double turbo. So, yeah, there is a way that Owen still wins this. He needs four prizes. There are two. Ooh, goodness. We saw the cancelling cologne, so that means a quick search could be used. Now we have a Charizard X boss with four basic energy attached. And all of a sudden, Fabian is straight back in this game. And it will get a KO. Two prizes, all it takes. Charizard now hits 240. So, yeah. Now, I think at this stage, Owen kind of has to ignore Charizard. You're not going to win this game by going after Charizard. 
Iron so, Boy is going to Los Cerne. Yep, yeah. you are correct. So, yeah, I, this Charizard is asking a lot of questions right now. How are we doing energy-wise on... I think we've got enough energy on the board here. Uh, yeah, so, gusting. You just need gusting both turns. Yes. If you can gust both turns, Owen will win this game. We have a Pokemon Catcher. It needs to be heads. Oh, my goodness me. You are correct. Two gusts would win the game here for Owen. Oh, my goodness gracious me. Are we going to see it? Does have Poke Gear in hand as well. Does have Earth and Vessel to thin from the hand. We are going to see a, double, a, a future, no, a Technical Machine Devolution. So, oh, that could be used as well. It could. It wouldn't be taking prize cards, but it would stop Fabian from attacking at the very least. Problem is, if you do that and, you're a, and Fabian hits Rare Candy Charizard, yeah. they're then ahead in KOs and they will probably yeah, win the true. game. So if it's the only option you've got, I don't mind it. But Pokemon Catcher, way better option here. Here we Heads go. It's huge. It's and a head. Oh, my goodness. Deciding on what to grab here. Could go after either option. Can actually KO both of these. Go after the Pidgeot. I want to go after the Pidgeot here. I don't think he's going to agree with me. <laughs> My thing here is it is easier to KO the Luminion than the Pidgeot. Yeah. If I KO the Luminion and my opponent gets rid of the no double turbo energy yep. iron forms, that makes my last KO on the yeah. Pidgeot more awkward. You are you are right. Looks like we're going to see an uh, energy lotto being used. Going to take that lightning energy. That's nice at the very least. So now you can attach. That as well. We need oh. a boss's orders next turn. Oh. Owen, are there even any? There's a Poke Gear in hand, so we could use that to try and find a boss's orders. Okay. Are there any? Are there any? Oh, there's a boss orders in hand. Sorry, there's a Giovanni's boss orders there, right at the back. Okay. So I mean, for, but this is Charizard. Charizard will hand disrupt. Charizard yeah. loves to hand disrupt. So Owen's down to two prizes remaining. Owen can gust up that Pidgeot to win the game next turn. Needs a. Wait a second, there's already a future boost on the bench, uh, the bench Iron's forms, right? Yes. So, we, so double turbo gusting, yep. or if the one with free lightning energy on survives, just gusting, and that will be game for Owen. This is getting tense, uh, Oh, and by the way, time's been called. Okay. It doesn't matter. We're not going to full three turns here, mate. We don't need to worry about time here, Ross. And you know what you said so confidently? Charles IDX will hand disrupt. There is no hand disrupt oh, no. currently in the hand. Does have Nestas and Justice and sizes available. As it stands right now, Ross, Fabian needs to find that. Professor Choro scenario. Oh, I'm going to run the Pidgeot with the Professor Choro. Oh, he picked up the Pidgeot with the one Professor Turo scenario in the deck. And I don't think Owen's got a good option here. Oh, no. For the last couple of prizes. And Fabian here will win the game next turn with Charizard. Well, Owen's got to win this turn. I mean, you could leave the legacy energy in the active and say, well, at least you're going to take one prize if you carry this one, but then, you know, would lose to a boss's orders at the very least. The professor's... Oh, could... Could remove the um, boss's orders from the hand via Irono if Owen opts to play it. But, yeah, you're right. There's going to be no easy way. You can't... Well, I guess you can gust and play Irono at the same time if you use Pokemon Catcher, but it's become a lot, lot harder here for Owen. Do we gust Beaverell and just leave the one in the active with legacy energy and say, yeah. I hope you don't have gusting? Yeah. That is an option. Should be an option. Because Fabian only wins if he doesn't KO the legacy energy. And we've already seen the single uh, Temple of Sin in this game, haven't we? Yes, yeah. So we'll that's not an option anymore for Fabian. That one on Professor Turo was huge there. Oh, and here we see it coming in the active with the legacy energy. Wait. Can't, we can two-shot this Charizard, right? They both have future boost energy capsules with no double turbo. Uh, you hit 160, doubles to oh, 320. Yeah, you'll you'll be correct. 10 yeah. damage away. And I think you see the resignation there. Here comes... Well, that's irrelevant, frankly. Yeah. <laughs> so what are we doing here? We are getting a KO, but are we going to be getting a KO on the right Iron Thorns, or are we going to have one more turn remaining? I don't think Owen can KO the Charizard, though. I think it's uh. 10 remaining. I think it maxes out at 160. Yeah, you're right. As we are going to see the industrious incisors, there's no boss's orders there in that hand. Oh, we're going to see it. There we go. There we go. Fabian wins two games to one. Iron Forms looks such a good idea. But unfortunately, that Professor Turo scenario onto the Pidgeot was just too much. And look, we keep saying these Charizard decks are getting greedy. They're playing lots of one offs. Well, that one of, I think. Fair to say, one Fabian that game. 